Whatever and uh, here, where nah, is Nike? Just, uh, just a, just a short term. It's not a series. Well, like short term, as in like the whole season? No, <laughs> that's long term. <laughs> but I don't know. Nah, nah, nah. It's, it's a, it's a short term thing, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, did you, did you have to get special ones from Nike? Um, or? yeah. They just, they just my shoes just broke, so that's why it's not in serious. Oh, it's just, okay. yeah. It's just my shoes just broke, so I have to. Uh, I'm getting new shoes. I have new shoes. I got you. Yeah. Was there? I mean, a lot of people talk about the in the AU level. Obviously, these teams are sponsored by companies, yeah. and sometimes do you feel like there's maybe pressures to pick a school that's affiliated with your AU yeah. team? Did you guys ever? discuss that or no. like, do you think do you think guys think about that at all no, like hey what, no. what school is no Kentucky? not at all yeah, I mean, that's that's not even coming close to the decision mm-hmm. for many recruits at all of them maybe it's just uh, it's the school that's best for you mm-hmm. I mean the school has the best comfort has the best uh, comfort the basketball level you want it to be the team you want it to be with I mean that's that's what it really comes down to it never came down to the shoes you wear yeah. many of us many recruits you always see they'll never they never have a never had a choice of what shoes they wore yeah. you know so this it's not going to make a difference about what shoes they wear in college they just want to be able to uh, play the game the way they want to you obviously got a lot of attention for your shoe size <laughs> did they break did the ones break because your feet were too big or oh no we uh i had wore the same ones i felt like i'm a very guy about never really breaking the habit of wearing different shoes mm-hmm. i'm gonna wear a lot of different shoes so i kept wearing the ones i wore in bahamas they got a crack in them so, they're oh, gonna, gotcha. so i'm getting new ones what have you learned from playing with Toby and Mike Willie and Dakari? I learned how talented they are. I mean, they're just they're freaks of nature. They're so talented. Uh, Dakari is, in my opinion, one of the best uh, post players, pure post players you'll see in the country. Willie is just a freak athlete who seemed to have traded in the football cleats for some basketball shoes. Um, you just uh, you talk about some great athletes you get to play against every day in practice. It just makes uh, just makes this team look even so much better. When you hear in person, you know it's just uh, you just see them, and I'm just so glad I get a chance to play against them every day and always get better and learn some new stuff from them all the time. It's a lot harder to get your shot off. I mean, uh, of course, you know it, it is. You know you have Willie who puts his head probably at the shot clock, and Marcus is uh, playing patty cake with the shot clock, so uh, it makes it a lot harder. But you know what? That's the thing that they. Uh, they always teach you how you can make it your shot off better. And, you know, I've just put a lot of work in during the summer to make sure I know how to get my shot off. And um, I'm just glad that everyone here is having success. Willie's, Dakari, Marcus, they're just, I mean, have you seen them in Bahamas? You've seen them in practice. They just look like different players, different human beings. Their bodies are just amazing compared to the last time I saw them, which was last year when they were playing. Does Willie, is he looked at at all as a leader just because he's older, or is that not really his personality? Willie is a leader. I feel he's a leader. I mean, everyone has a part in being a leader, but I think, you know, Willie and Alex, really, uh, <laughs> Willie, Alex, Andrew, and Aaron, you know, they all really take a bulk of the leadership, knowing because, as we saw last year, they've been through a lot. They know what to deal with, they know how to deal with it, and they know what, what's worked last year and what hadn't worked last year. So um, it makes a lot different when you have people like that who know how to find success in all of our flaws. So you're really glad they're back. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I am ecstatic. <laughs> I mean, for, I've never been, it's never for me about been about awards. It's never been about uh, awards, stats, points, rebounds. i just always been a guy, and especially my father growing up, seeing him win so much, I've always been about wins and rings. And that's why I came here. I wanted to make sure that uh, I have the best chance possible to win a ring. You attended Big Blue Madness as a recruit, man. Yes. So, so uh, what was that atmosphere like then, and what are you expecting for tomorrow? Um, for me, you know, what I expected when I came over was just, uh, it's like a big a big uh, party. You know, it's just a big celebration that the season is finally upon us, and we're going to have a chance to see our basketball players for the first time. That's how I felt it was. And uh, tomorrow, I just expect even a huge party. I mean, you have a lot of people coming back that, you know, usually at this uh, at this place you never see come back. Uh, I'm just glad that we get to go out with them. And uh, you know, see just see everyone's faces for the first time. Mm-hmm. Bahamas, your first your first stint with this team, obviously. And uh, one, share that experience with us. And, and two, uh, what's it been like since then? Has there been a lot of conditioning? I mean, uh, I assume coming out of high school, you got to you know got to get in shape to play at Kentucky. What uh, how what, what's this been like physically on you? Uh, for me in the Bahamas, you know, that's the uh, playing over the Bahamas is great. Mm-hmm. I mean, we learned a lot. We came together a lot. Uh, that was probably one of the best trips that we could have possibly taken. I mean, it made us a such, so much better team. We had the continuity grew so much more. We gelled a lot better. And 
you know, we just became uh, we became a lot more like brothers. You know, having that time to finally enjoy being with each other all the time and uh, being able to, you know, relax, go to the water parks and stuff like that really uh, helped us on the basketball court as much as it helped us as uh, being friends. What was it like after you guys lost that game there? I mean, obviously some disappointment, but what, what was that like? Oh, uh, for, for us, you know, we really wanted to win. We were, uh, obviously, we were disappointed. I think I was a little more disappointed because it was against the team I would have to mm. next week be playing for. Right. But, uh, you know, you just never really want to lose, and we all felt the pain. But you know it's good. You know it gives us something that we know we're not invincible, and, it, and we're glad we learned that when the record didn't count, than when it does. Freshmen at Kentucky have had a lot of pressure on them since John Calipari's been here. But this year, with some returning guys, maybe not as much. Do you feel? I mean, I know you weren't here with all the pressure on you, but you feel that a little bit, like maybe some pressure. Um, off? you know, I definitely feel that. You know, this thing is where well, you come here, you're always used to being the man. At UK, now this year we all are the man. We all have a part of being that guy to win us, you know, the championship. I mean, that's the biggest thing that, uh, like I said, we have so many, a great group of talent here. I mean, probably the best talent we've had in a while. I mean, it makes a difference when you have such great people like that helping you at all times, you know, and um, I mean, with the talent you see now, it's, where it's given us a chance to do the two platoon system. It's given us a chance to do a lot more things that we haven't been able to do. I mean, and um, it's scary because, you know, it just, with all the talent he's always had, it makes us uh, look even better and it also gives us a chance to do something special. Cal says 